Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Ranbir Kaur. Today we will be going through simplest topic of chemistry, study of electron, proton and neutrons and some questions where are these found in everyday life, are they visible and many more questions that arise in your mind. What are atoms? and what are electron, proton and neutron. As I have shown a diagram, matter is made up of molecules. Molecules are made up of atoms and atoms contain the particles nuclei, electron, proton, neutron and they further are made up of quark. All matter including mineral crystals is made up of atoms and all atoms are made up of three main particles proton neutrons electrons most important part to remember what are the symbol charge and location of electron proton and neutron electron are negatively charged proton is positively charged and nucleus is neutral symbols are e for electron p for proton and n for neutron so the question arises how do they actually look like electron proton neutron what are they nucleus is present in the center which composes of proton and neutron while electrons are present in shells that are surrounding the nucleus. The proton forms the nucleus while the electron orbits around it. The positively charged proton tend to repel each other and the neutron helps to hold the nucleus together. The number of proton is the atomic number and the number of protons plus neutrons is the atomic mass. What are energy levels? What are electrons? Where are they filled? And how many electrons can be particularly filled in each shell? So, these you have to remember first shell also known as k shell can accommodate two electrons second shell known as l shell can accommodate eight electrons third shell known as m shell can accommodate up to 18 electrons we have already discussed about shells in an earlier video If the outermost orbital or shell is fully filled, it is said to be as inert and they do not react with other elements to form compounds. As you can see in the last column of the product table, these are all inert gases, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and so on. There last shell is completely filled you can see in the electronic configuration it is completely filled hence if it is completely filled it will not react with any other element to form compound rather to make chemical bonds or covalent bonds the outermost subshell should not be completely filled either we can say inert do not inert complexes uh, do not react Concluding the whole video in brief, we have nucleus which contains positively charged particles known as protons. There is repulsion between these positive charges, so neutrons are also present in nucleus. 
surrounding nucleus there are these shells in which electrons are present electrons are negatively charged particles and further we have studied about the number of electrons present in these shells so you have to learn these how many electrons are present in s shell p shell d shell and so on s contain two electrons p contains six electrons d contains 10 electrons and the one two three shells comprises of all these orbitals s p d i repeat all these shells contains s p and d orbitals so there is a difference between electron present in orbitals and electron present in shells so electron present in shells are 2 8 18 first shell second shell third shell so this is it thank you for watching and hope this tutorial helped you out how to learn this topic give this video a big thumbs up if it was useful for you and if you are new to this channel do click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you do not miss any update from our channel